find yourself stuck at the same rank in Overwatch 2 and can't climb any higher? You feel frustrated because you feel you deserve a higher rank? You are not alone in feeling this way. In this video, we'll be discussing one common pitfall that could be holding you back. Swapping heroes too much. Oof. You may have heard the question, where's the best hero to climb out of this rank? Okay, easiest hero to rank up in bronze to gold with DPS. These are the six best characters to easily climb to diamond. But there's something inherently bad about this question. It indicates that one will not put the proper time in to mastering a hero. Overwatch has a variety of different heroes and different abilities, and it's natural to want to try them all out. However, if your goal is to climb to the higher ranks, swapping heroes frequently is the worst thing you can do. You need time to master a hero. And the moment you start doing things by secondhand nature is the moment you can see massive improvements in your game. The recipe for that is time and good repetitions. If you swap heroes all the time, you confuse your brain with different aiming patterns and ability cycles. Spilo, a former Overwatch League assistant coach, had this to say on the matter. Something I've been talking about a lot is dynamic hero pools, where you shift your hero pool on a month or patch basis, but put emphasis on one to three heroes within that patch. That is generally the best way to master heroes, and it's recommended for pros, casuals alike, who want to improve performance in scrims and rank up faster. For the average Joes who don't have thousands of hours in Overwatch, we need to adopt this method. Listen, if, if your goal is to just have fun with Overwatch, you don't have to do any of this. If your goal is to climb the ranks, here's what I recommend. First, pick one role for an entire season. You don't want to confuse your brain in picking all the different roles. Second, pick a main hero for that entire season. This is someone you'll have 95% of your playtime on. Third, pick a secondary hero and have specific situations where you'll switch to that hero. Remember, the goal is to master one hero and become proficient with a secondary hero. Not to be a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Bruce Lee once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Imagine two players with 100 hours of playtime. One has 50 hours on Torb, and the other has 5 hours on 20 different characters. If you put them in a 1v1 situation, the Torb player will likely win. But what about counters? Overwatch isn't as rock, paper, scissors as players make it out to be. While some heroes work better against others, there are ways to play against or around counters. For example, I chose to main Torb last season, and the enemy team's DPS usually likes to switch to Pharah when that happened. A lot of the times, the Pharah would have bad positioning or wouldn't play her as well, and I could punish that very easily as Torb. But after a while, if the Pharah was doing well, that is the situation where I would switch to Ash to better help my team. This is a specific situation where switching to a secondary hero is necessary. If you're still not convinced, I tested this method on my two friends. Joe, after only playing Overwatch for this season and the last in total, is already at Diamond 3. My other friend, Entropic, has been playing Overwatch for a very long time, but hasn't really seen any rank past mid-plat, is now already Diamond 5 within two weeks of the season. By following these tips, you can grow your confidence and climb to the rank that you deserve. 